Доброго вечора. Вітання зі Львова. А ви з якого міста? Hello. I will wait some more spectators and we'll start. З Болгарії. Дуже приємно. В Болгарії я був в Софії і був в Пловдіві, а ще був в Варні у 1987 році. Це більше ніде не було. Мені сподобалося всюди. So, my plan today is to explain game, games 5 and 6 from, okay, nice to meet you. So, from Match Bogolubov Ewe. So, what can I say before start uh, to show the games. I remember a few years ago I have seen videos of I don't remember his name but it was somebody from drafts player he gave some quite interesting material and he explained it. Don't worry. Every, uh, what I am giving you, everything is totally correct. Check it with computer so you can trust me completely. Okay. Merhaba. What can I say about myself? So, I'm thinking. I am not checking with computer, so I am making mistakes sometimes, and uh, no reason uh, trust me all the time. So you can try to understand if I am right if, or when I am not right. Sometimes after showing video, I am um, thinking about positions again and uh, I can realize and in some moment, moment or moments, I wasn't uh, totally precise and I can admit it. For example, I remember from previous video, I explained it that after d4, d5, c4, knight f6, Max Ava played with white. Uh, very dubious video was played by Yefim Bogolubu. Knight f3, okay, I explained that bishop d2 was interesting, but I after knight f3, knight c6, I explained that uh, now bishop d2 is possible, but uh, black can play e5 with an acceptable position. But okay, uh, then I came back to this position and uh, I have understood that uh, I was wrong. Not... Uh, uh, with help of uh, stockfish or some engine, just during my walk, uh, so I realized that e5 is um, is bad move and this position is not playable for black because white can excellent. White has excellent shoot e4 and uh, position is 
very close to win for white. Okay, because uh, knight d5 is terrible threat, and uh, black cannot avoid this with queen d6, of course, because knight a4 is coming. If knight d4, then it takes knight d5, queen c5, rook c1, white is just winning. So, what else? Um, if e takes d4, knight d5 as well, so okay, probably the most sub stubborn uh, idea to play for black is uh, after e4 to play bishop b4, but it's uh, terrible anyway for black because a3 simply possible, takes, takes. White has other possibilities, but uh, I show you simplest, and knight takes e5. And now, for example, after knight takes e4, white has knight c4, and white just win the queen. If knight takes e5, d takes e5, black is, uh, okay, knight g4, black should play and play pawn down and uh, lose in position, because knight takes e4 is even worse, because queen a4 check, if queen c6, bishop b5 is gone. So this is one of refutation of my previous videos. So, so e5 is not a playable move, but okay, so what to play? So white wants to play e4, so black has no good ideas at all. Probably queen f5 is the most stubborn, but anyway, white is much better here. So, but e5 is losing by force. So, please... Uh, don't forget to ch uh, check my analysis and uh, and uh, also before the st start of showing games five and six, I can explain that uh, I I don't remember whom exact uh, who it was exactly, but uh, some of uh, famous players explain the difference, important difference between. Aleohin, Lasker, and Bugolubo. Uh, his explanation was that Aleohin was fighting, Lasker was sinking, but Bugolubo used his imagination. So I don't know what uh, to say about myself, but uh, if uh, consider myself like uh, a teacher, so I hope I I'm close to Bugulubo, so I'm trying to use my imagination. And uh, also, uh, what else I can add? Uh, uh, I explained that it was a uh, world championship between amateurs. But, uh, okay, so I, I need to specify, uh, specify history of such uh, championship. Thanks for subscription. And very pleasant for me that uh, people support me and uh, what I am explaining is, is really interesting, very pleasant. Well, so FIDER was created in 1924, again thanks for your subscription, and uh, First Olympiad will have been in Paris in 1924 as well. And uh, after this Olympiad was uh, organized immediately. Okay, it's not after, it's uh, like uh, final part of uh, Olympiad in Paris uh, was organized world championship between amateurs. And uh, in Paris, uh, uh, Hermanis Matisson, Latvian uh, chess player, won this competition. Uh, four years later, in, in uh, Haag, in Holland, uh, chess Olympiad was played, and again, as final uh, 
step of this Olympiad was organized competition between amateurs. And the winner of this um, uh, amateurs competition was Max Abe. And uh, only after this, okay, Fide find ideas that uh, this amateur world champion who was Max Ewe and uh, Ewe always was uh, any op openings you like for beginners uh -huh. okay it's a totally different topic uh, about openings but I will uh, come back to it uh, as well. So, Max Ava always had uh, some attitude to Fide. From uh, Fide was born, and later he was even uh, Fide president. And uh, he wanted to defend his title against some of strong players. And uh, his choice was uh, Yefim Bogolubo, quite strong player, who won many tournaments, especially very strong tournament, which uh, was played in Moscow 1925. So it was much Bogolubov Ava for title of world champion amongst amateurs. Okay, so there is question about uh, openings uh, for beginners. If you are white, I strongly recommend you to play e4. And then try to attack uh, f7 square, try to play active. You can try some gambits like scotch gambit, like... Uh, King's Gambit, you can play Spanish or Italian as well. Okay, if uh, uh, Danish Gambit, okay, uh, so what is Danish Gambit, unfortunately? Okay, probably I have seen these moves, but okay, probably I need to be ashamed uh, now, but uh, I don't remember exactly what is Danish Gambit, because uh, in the uh, course of opening, uh, which was written by Pano and Estrin, there are no Danish Gambit. So it's modern name, so please explain me what is Danish Gambit. And I will try to explain my attitude to this opening. What Ah, e4, e5, d4, e takes d4, yes, okay, but this is central opening, so, ah, c3, ah, I played this even, yes, I played this, so I played many times Danish Gambit, uh, Also, I play same after knight f3, knight c6. I played many times. You can find uh, uh, my games in Mega Database. Uh, mainly it was uh, online games, but uh, I have been quite successful, yes. Uh, for black, uh, okay, for black, uh, it depends. Your opponent can play e4, can play d4, and... Uh, Yes, I know. So, okay, but uh, only I didn't know that this is Danish Gambit. So, uh, Alochin played against Verlinski in this move order. C3. The difference is uh, for example, after e3, e5, knight f3, knight c6, c3. Now, black can play, for example, knight f6. After e5, knight d5. After c takes d4, bishop d4 check. And after bishop d2, d6 without taking. And after bishop takes b4, it's important to take with correct knight, because if correct, if take with this pawn, after d5, black is just losing the piece. 
Knight is attacked. If knight goes somewhere, queen a4 is coming. If bishop f5, even knight a3 is enough. And if knight moves somewhere, queen a4 is coming. So if uh, you start with uh, c3 now, now knight f6 is possible as well, but... Uh, e5, knight d5, now queen takes d4. It's quite promising. Knight b6, knight f3, knight c6, queen e4, and white has good position. So this is a difference, but uh, from other points of view, black can play queen e7. Very interesting line, and uh, the best for white here, c takes d4, queen takes e4, bishop e3, so white has some compensation for the pawn, but uh, difficult to assert, is it enough or not, but okay, it's at least interesting game. For example, knight f6, knight c3, bishop b4, knight f3, so, sorry. Knight f3 and white is preparing for bishop d3 castle. White is pawned down, but there is some compensation. If knight d5, queen d2 is possible. So that's quite interesting game. Of course, black has choice in each move. For example, here d takes c3 is possible, d5 is also possible. And after e takes d5, black has choice again. So queen takes d5 is good enough. Knight f6 is also possible. So, but this is uh, quite an interesting game. So, I agree. Okay, so uh, how to evaluate players in a time without a rating? Okay, so it were, for example, like in uh, in modern chess, there are tournaments which uh, <coughs> which are considered like the strongest during the year. For example, I mean tournaments like Vekanze, like Linares in time in twenty years before, like uh, probably Reggio Emilia, Dortmund, uh, Tilburg, uh, many many years before, Bugoino and other tournament and uh, other tournaments and uh, according to results of in the most uh, important tournaments, uh, society could decide who is the strongest players uh, at the moment. And more or less same situation was in <clears throat> in beginning of uh, 20th century. Okay, so let's come back to main topic for today. So d4, knight f6, c4, g6, ah, knight f3, g6, Ava doesn't want to play d5 immediately, so in this move order he doesn't want to play Grunfeld defense, so he played castle, and in previous uh, game with white, Yefim Bugolubov played g3, and after d5, Max uh, Ava won the game. Okay, it doesn't mean that this position is bad for white, of course, but... Uh, in game five, Bugolubov decided to play e4, so King's Indian. d6, bishop e2, knight bd7. The most popular move now is e5, and after castle, black has choice between knight bd7 or knight c6, d5, knight e7. Also, even uh, knight a6 is possible. So, but okay, knight b7 played max a, but it's also possible. Castle d5. What is uh, my favorite uh, opening? I have no favorite opening. I can play almost everything. It depends from my mood, uh, depends of uh, my opponent, of course, uh, also depends of tournament situation or match situation, if this is match. So, e5 played 
Max uh, Ava and now Bogolubov played Bishop G5. So not modern choice, Bishop G5. Modern players doesn't like to play Bishop G5. Why? Because uh, after H6, if Bishop H4, Black has idea to play G5 in some moment and Bishop G3, Knight H5 to exchange this Bishop and after this exchange, Bishop G7 will be stronger. So usually white player, uh, usually players who has uh, this position with white doesn't like to play Bishop G5 here. There are many alternatives. For example, Rook E1 is totally possible after C6, Bishop F1, very popular plan. Another popular plan is Queen C2 if C6, Rook D1. Also possible to play Bishop E3, favorite choice of Boris Gelfand. For example, if C6, D5, if C5, Knight E1. Also possible D5 the system of Tigran Petrosian. And now black has choice between knight c5 immediately or a5 firstly. For example, if uh, black plays knight c5, queen c2, a5, bishop g5, important move to provoke h6 and to prepare knight d2, h6, bishop e3. Bishop h4 in this moment uh, not so good because after g5 and knight h5, black has quite good game. Also possible ideas, knight x e4, knight x e4, knight x e4, queen x e4, f5, and then now black has f4 or even e4 is possible. But uh, knight h5 is more simple. Is quite comfortable game. So for uh, for black uh, for white is better to play bishop e3. And now white is preparing uh, d5 to play with white or with black. In last question. Okay, so bishop e3, and now uh, we can see point of bishop g5, because now if knight g4, white can take and play h3, and black cannot play knight h6. So if you imagine that uh, black pawn on h7, black can play knight h6, and then f6, knight f7, knight d6, possible plan against Averbach system. I don't know. Against other Bach system. There are many systems. Okay, knight a6 is the most pro popular line against other Bach system at the moment. So after h3, uh, black has no square h6 for the knight. So knight f6 is forced. White is taking the pawn. Knight takes d5. C takes d5. Knight f7 is a big mistake for white because uh, after knight b4, white is losing the piece. So correct idea, take with pawn. Bishop takes e5, f4, bishop d4, check, king h2. In this position, according to theory, it's better for white. For example, if c6, white can just take play bishop c4 to prepare knight e2 in some moment. This position is better. If uh, black plays uh, something like b6, knight d2, knight g4, takes, takes, a3. And uh, now a4 it's not possible because E pawn takes knight in which moment? Ah, here E pawn takes knight. Okay, uh, because uh, white needs uh, 
c4 square for his bishop and uh, so uh, here white has no advantage bishop is passive on e2 knight h5 knight f4 in which moment okay so uh, i need to finish uh, firstly uh, so a4 is bad because white can calmly take the pawn take here and take here and black has no real contraplay because uh, for example if uh, queen g5 uh, simply f3 is possible and black has no enough compensation i have seen that uh, 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 it was a recent game richard rapport played bishop d7 and after b4 knight b7 and uh, this idea f5 okay probably it's it's possible to play but it looks like more pleasant for white but probably black has contraplay was question uh what about knight h5 but uh you mean here knight h5 knight h5 here not so good because g3 and uh, after f5 knight h4 we can see another reason to provoke h6. Now black has problem with uh, g6 pawn. So knight f4 is possible, but after knight f4, white can just take this bishop and take on g6. And black is losing material without sufficient compensation. Well, so was question about Averbach system? Okay, uh, Averbach system, according to modern theory, the most popular line for black is knight a6 system. For example, if queen d2, e5. If d5, c6, something like this. Well. Okay, at the moment I need to... T uh, okay, so I will come back, but at the moment I need to take 10 minutes break. Just please wait me.
So I am here again. Everybody can hear me, I hope. Please confirm that sound and picture is good. I hope to do my best again. Good. So, after knight a6, okay, uh, white has other moves. For example, f4 is very sharp move. I played against Taimur Rajabov. Uh, I am not Ivan, sorry, my name is Vasil, but okay. <clears throat> Just a moment. Ivan is another name. Uh, both names uh, are good, yes, uh, I agree that both names uh, are good, but uh, for example, uh, Ivan Šaric, Croatian player, or Ivan Sokol of Bosnian players, okay, uh, I have uh, nothing against name Ivan, but this is not my name, <laughs> my name is Vasily. Uh, yes, Ivan Morovic, yes, as well. Of course. Uh, he, he is also Croatian. He is uh, originally from Cro Croatia, Ivan Morovic. <clears throat> Ivan Farago, who, a Hungarian player, but uh, so uh, I can add mo even more examples. Ivan Rosum from Russia, but uh, okay. Anyway, it's not my name. Uh, without engine, okay. Uh, Okay, for me, uh, it's necessary uh, try to analyze uh, without engine because I need to to keep my brain uh, in active uh, shape. So if if uh, use engine, it's uh, for me it's not acceptable. But okay, it's very individual. Well, so F four is possible as well. Uh, so I explained that after castle e5, d5, after a5, uh, white well, can play bishop g5, but more simple to play same light queen c2, and if knight c5, bishop g5, and it will be the same, which I already showed. Okay, but Bohulubov played bishop g5, it wasn't necessary, h6. Now, uh, in style of uh, Boris Gelf and bishop e3, uh, at least uh, Boris played uh, bishop e uh, g5 and then bishop e3 idea many times, for, uh, but uh, in a little bit different position. Uh, for example, without knight f3, he played in this move order. G6, bishop g7, e4, d6, bishop e2, sorry, bishop g5. After knight a6, Boris played knight f3, and after h6, bishop e3, e5, castle. So we have difference. Knight on a6 uh, instead of knight on d7. It's also very typical line for Boris Gelfand, big expert in King's Indian without uh, any doubts. It's uh, another rare system. Uh, e4, d6, knight f3, castle, bishop e2, e5, castle, knight c6, d5, knight e7, bishop g5. And if h6, bishop d2. This, it's... Uh, Trend of Boris Gelfand. Vyacheslav Ingorn played here bishop takes f6 and, and b4, which is also interesting, but uh, objectively hardly enough for advantage. But Boris prefers bishop d2. It's a uh, quite deep idea in some variation. h6 can be weakness, but it's uh, it's not easy to understand without deep penetration of into this position. Well, so... Bogolubov played bishop h4, rook e8. Okay, it's possible, of course, but uh, more natural is to play g5 immediately, and after bishop g3, knight h5, and black has two bishops advantage, and objectively has nothing to worry. Well, for example, if d takes e5, knight takes g3 is possible. H takes g3, knight takes e5, and black has good position. For example, if knight d4, even knight c6 is possible. Black bishop g7 is active, so black has 
no reason to worry here. Less convincing is D takes E5 because after B4 and then C5, white has um, more space in queen's flank and bishop G7 looks like a little bit passive. Well, so G5 was possible. Okay, what else I can add? It D takes E5 immediately. It's probably this was uh, afraid Max Ava, but uh, I don't think that real reason to afraid this because maybe even this is possible. If D takes C5, Bishop G3, it's uh, probably this is quite promising for white, also position is still unclear as well, but But g takes f5 and queen takes f6. Black is fine. After knight d5, queen d8 is possible. Or maybe just take with knight is possible as well. Because knight takes h4, knight takes e4 is coming. If not knight takes h4, rook e8 is coming on the next move or h3. So black is fine. But okay. So Max A will play the rook e8. It's another possible move. D takes e5. D takes e5. Okay. Looks like strange choice. If uh, my lessons free in Twitch, yes. In Twitch. What I am doing, this is free for everybody just to follow me and you can see so d takes e5 is dubious um, i think uh, d5 looks like much more logical here because uh, in this pawn structure usually My website, I have a channel in uh, YouTube, so all my, my videos uh, after 24 hours will be downloaded uh, in YouTube and everybody can look it uh, there. So D5 is logical. Uh, what is point of D5? Uh, I, uh, main idea is that in this pawn structure, uh, black rook uh, usually is better on f8 than on e8 because uh, main idea of contraplay for black is connected with uh, f7, f5. And if, for example, uh, g5 now, white can play bishop g3, f knight h5, knight d2. And well, if knight takes g3, white can take with both pawn, but uh, probably even stronger to take with f pawn, this uh, idea to block f5 and uh, to have attacking chances on f line. And if uh, knight f4, of course, white will play bishop g4. And white is better here because uh, black uh, hardly can avoid exchange of uh, light square air bishop and uh, White uh, will have excellent play in Queen's flank, while Black has problem to organize uh, serious uh, active play in King's flank, especially with Rook on E8. So D takes E5. Okay, it's dubious move. Played Yefim Bohulubov. D takes E5. Now Black has quite a good version of King's Indian, and usually in such type of position, White should fight for c5 square so the most logical looks to play b4 here to prepare c5 if a5 a3 and then try to play c5 and in future bishop c4 is possible or knight d d2 knight c4 depends what is black is doing of course but uh, queen c2 was played for Hulubu. Also possible c6. Now again, before it's uh, like logical move. 
history of chess, uh, I am still following his history of chess. It's during all of my life. Okay, knight d2. Anyway, before looks like more promising for white, but knight d2, he played knight c5. So black plan is clear, knight uh, wants to go to e6 and then to d4 or f4. So now it's for sure black has excellent play. Knight b3, knight e6, rook f d1, queen e7, bishop f1. I don't know what is point of bishop f1. Probably Bogolubov wanted to avoid some tactic resources. I mean, for example, if to play f3 looks like natural to prepare bishop f2, but black has this idea. If knight takes d2, e takes d2, rook takes d2, g4 is coming. White is in trouble here. So bishop is hanging, rook is hanging, so bishop takes e7, small less forces, so bishop takes d4. King f1 not possible because knight e3, so king h1 only move, knight f2, king g1, and... Okay, black has draw already with knight g4 or knight d1, Maybe it's also maximum for black also, because knight takes e4, king f1 doesn't work. If rook takes e7, king f1 as well. So probably this is just a draw. So. But okay, it's not better, so f3. If uh, this combination... Ah, but maybe black has... Uh, Queen c5 here, and only if bishop f2, knight g4, maybe this is stronger. Yes, maybe. Good evening. Yes, maybe queen c5 is more unpleasant for white. Bishop f2, knight g4. If rook d1, knight takes e4 probably. Looks like good for black, although we can try to calculate more accurately king f1. Maybe not so clear. Because uh, bishop f5 doesn't work, knight takes c5, bishop takes c2, rook takes d4. So... If queen e5, uh, knight f6 or bishop f6, well, bishop f6 not clear because queen takes e4 is possible. Bishop f6 and black has enough compensation. Okay, so um, maybe knight g4, but after knight g4, queen d2, and if black win exchange, white has uh, good compensation. Okay, so f3 was interesting, but... Uh, uh, if white uh, plays f3, they need to calculate knight d4, and we can see that if black wants, that can uh, black wants. Uh, if black wants, they can force uh, after queen e5, uh, rook d, uh, queen e5. Well, what is point of queen e5? I can just go back with rook or play rook a d1. So. I don't understand the threats. Okay, if I'm simply defending rook, what is idea? Why it is pawn down? Ah, queen c5, okay, rook a d1, yes, knight a, uh, yes, rook a d1, yes. And... Okay, black has some resources, like even knight d5 is possible, but it's quite complicated. So knight e4, this, uh, this king f1, and position is unclear. Ah, if queen e5, probably not bishop f6, probably knight f6 is strong. If queen c5, knight a4, no. You need to 
to protect your rook. I want to take the rook, so knight a4 now is impossible because I just will take. So knight a4 is possible in brave line. I, I will show you. Hmm. It's funny line. Evgeny Barev played with white. It was line uh, d4, uh, knight of also king's Indian, but it was something like this. h3, castle, bishop g5, c6, bishop d3. And now if queen b6, Barev played queen, uh, knight a4. Now black cannot take because after knight f3, queen is trapped. So after queen a4, black should go here, something like this. But now knight a4 is strong. But uh, but in uh, but your recommendation cannot be strong because you are just giving me the rook. So uh, knight a4 I can take, and after bishop f2, I have many moves with. Ah, uh, bishop f2 first. Uh, ah, here, uh, bishop f2, knight g4, now knight a4 you want. Uh, well, but uh, I can take, I can take uh, king h1. Yes, it's... Ah, so... so, so uh, uh -huh. If knight takes f2, knight b Ah, now it's possible, yes. Now knight a4 is possible. You are, uh, you are right. Ah, but uh, black at least can take with queen. And uh, now king f1 not possible. So king h1 is only move. But uh, black can draw already if uh, they want. Also, I don't know if black can play for win here, but... If knight takes e4, king f1, okay, maybe it's playable position, but I'm not sure that black is better. So, I mean, this, this knight somewhere, maybe even this with idea knight f5, but interesting. Because knight on a4 is a little bit misplaced, and knight f5 is good. g4 is possible, but after g4, white king will be weaker, black. voice and video. I'm doing mm -hmm. Losing connection. And now connection. And now Is it any problem or it's improved already? I hope it is improved. Ah, it's good. Okay. Played blindfold? Yes, it's possible. Mid-twenties, yes, it was totally possible. Link of the games? Link of the games. Okay, I took it from Mega Database. Okay, so Bishop F1. I continue. Max Ava played G5. Finally, he decided to exchange this bishop. And it's a logical moment because now white lost control to H5 square. 
Ah, um, okay, so this game I have seen uh, briefly uh, today, but uh, I didn't analyze it. So now we are analyzing it in together. But sometimes uh, I I have some analysis before, so differently. But uh, about this game, no, I didn't analyze it before. And now I see that uh, Black has an excellent position for sure, because good control to d4 square, f4 square under control, so more pleasant to play with Black. White should defend. So knight e2 played Bogolubo and black has many good moves here. Even c5 is possible to consider to prepare knight d4. a5 is possible as well to provoke a4. So really pleasant choice. But not easy one. Uh, so when you have so many good moves, not so easy to decide what to do sometimes. So even b6 totally possible to prepare bishop a6. Yes, knight e4 is possible as well. You are right, yes. Probably white planet to play f3 to prepare bishop f2. But okay, so bishop d7 played a it's one of possible moves. Rook d2 played Bogolubo f3, logical alternative to prepare, uh, to, to prepare bishop f2 and to provoke exchange on g3. Okay, rook d2 is possible, rook d8. Rook d1, bishop c8, c5 is possible as well, but after c5 probably knight c3, it's, I don't know what is this, knight will go to d5, if knight d4, knight takes d4, c takes d4, knight d5, but his contraplay because knight on d5 is quite strong. So bishop c8. This, 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 queen d2, queen takes d2. This position looks like better for black because pieces are more active and, and uh, control on important square d4. Yes, so bishop d7, but okay, it's solid. Uh, Black is playing solid and uh, they still have some advantage. But only question how much advantage. Thanks. Bishop f8. Knight c1. f6. Played Max Ava. Bishop e2. Knight d4. Knight d4 was important to prevent bishop g4, bishop d3, a5. About a5 I'm not sure, probably was better to improve position in a queen's flank, for example, to play h5, to prepare g4 and bishop h6. And this position looks like quite unpleasant for white. I I cannot assert how much is advantage of black, but surely quite unpleasant to play with white in this position. But uh, a5 maybe not the best because after knight b3, black needs to exchange knights. So, for example, if compare after h5, now after knight b3, black can go back to e6 and uh, white has problem with his knights and g4 is coming, bishop h6, or simply king f7, yes, bishop d3, bad bishop, so white is suffering in this position. Okay, it's possible to defend this, but not pleasant 
So A5 probably in accuracy. Knight B3. Now the problem for black that they cannot go back with knights. So they need to exchange knight and without knights it's more easy to defend for white. So in my opinion it was quite important to keep uh, knight for the black. Now, knight A1. So knight is ready to C2. Also still uh, position is unpleasant, but um, it looks like correct plan for black is king f7. My idea to prepare king e7, d6, c5 somehow, for example. Something like this, and then king d6, king c5, and try to attack uh, c4 pawn, and uh, in some moment to prepare h5, g4 plan, so still unpleasant for white, but uh, bishop c5, we played, so it looks like he is just playing without special plan. Knight c2. So Bugulu will consolidate his position, and now, so for black would be better to have king on c5 and bishop on c3. It can, can could be interesting, but if bishop on c5, king has no perspectives, and black. Uh, not played for in king's flank, so king d7, f3, h5 only now, but black lost uh, a lot of tempest and white played c5, king d2, so white is prepared now for king c3 and bishop c4, and they agreed for draw, and okay, so it looks like drawish. Now black already lost uh, all of his advantage. White can play bishop c4 if bishop g6, knight e3, or even knight e3 uh, immediately. Optically, this position even slightly better for white already. So, so from this moment, I can admit that uh, Max A would demonstrate a bad level of technique. Okay, so. It was game five. Now I will consider game six. G two bishop for connect with connection or some problem with connection. What about connection now? Is everybody can hear me? I just explained it that bishop g4, knight d7, e6, bishop d6, knight e7 was favorite system of Alexander Chernin. I hope only that anybody can hear me. Okay, well, so knight f6, also possible, bishop g4, and yeah, black has choice. Uh, bishop g4 is possible, which Bogolubov played, also bishop f5 is possible, with just different systems. So bishop g4, d3, knight d7, knight d2, e6, but e6 it's, uh, looks like a passive line. So according to modern theory and according to my knowledge, e5 is the main line, and if e4, black can play, take, play h6. Idea to prepare with h3 to play bishop e6 to prevent knight g5. But okay, after e5, white can play h3. It's probably more promising this idea of bishop h5, g4, bishop g6, knight h4. Yes, not only Nakamura playing this. But okay, so e6 played Bogolubo, and now e4. White has quite a pleasant version. Uh, so uh, 
for black, usually if they play such a system, it's better not hurry with knight bd7, for example, to play e6, knight bd2, bishop e7, e4, castle. And now after e5 in some moment, black has d7 square for knight uh, on f6 to avoid attack. Because if uh, knight already on d7, white can push e5, knight needs to go to e8, and uh, on e8 usually knight has uh, passive position and no good perspectives. Okay. So rook e1, of course, uh, white need to prepare e5, because immediately e5 not possible, because black can just take g4 was possible, however, but Probably this is not totally clear for Max Aver because black has contraplay with h5, knight h6 in future. So rook e1, solid move. Now e5 is uh, some kind of positional threat, although black can play castle if e5, knight e8, and then knight c7, c5, something like this. Another type of position. After d takes e4, d takes e4, usually white is uh, slightly better in this type of position. b3 played a well. b should b2, b should b4, b should b2, knight c5. Of course, uh, black can uh, simplify the position to take on f3, I mean, to play uh, bishop takes d2 and to play knight e5, but uh, objectively, I cannot tell that this position is uh, totally equal. White is slightly better here after e5, for example. Then rook a d1, c4, somewhere rook is ready to penetrate on d6. So. But okay, anyway, this position is already quite pleasant for white. Knight c5 played Bohulugu, g4, g6, a3. Tactically, e4 pawn very well defended. So Bishop a5 is not possible because b4, of course. Only what I'm worried about is that if everybody hear me well. E5. No. E5, uh, E5, uh, E5 hardly good idea because black can play knight E4 after E5 bishop on G6 is very active and also bishop C3 is idea. So a3 is more logical, force it to take. Okay, good. So takes, takes. So white has two bishops advantage. Black knights had has no good four posts, so white is bad. Queen c7. Bogolubo, queen f3. Not only move, white has Many moves here, but okay, it's logical one. Queen e2 was alternative. Queen f3. He wants to prepare rook a d1. I think. And tactics doesn't work. Black cannot take on e4 because I can take after knight takes e4, I can take on d8. After rook d8, rook e4. After takes, takes rook d1, bishop f1. Black just lost material without compensation. So queen f3 and also in some variation a is prepared to play queen c3 and attack g7 and also prevent e5 ideas. Bogolubo played e5, so it looks like uh, he wants uh, to prepare knight e6, knight f4, but uh, he has no time to realize this idea because queen c3 immediately coming now, pawn is attacked. So. Black need to 
to defend this pawn so they cannot play knight e6 now because pawn is hanging. So knight fd7 playing Bukulubo f4. So it was David Bronstein who explained it, that chess is tragedy of one tempi. So if you imagine that uh, black to move now, they can play knight e6 and for black has excellent position, but white to move, they play in f4 and black has to, uh, to forget about any active play because knight e6 is not possible anymore, so f6 is forced and now also b4 played a, so knight a4 impossible because queen b3 check and black losing the knight, knight e6 is f5 losing, so knight a6 and obviously this position is terrible for black because uh, all of position, uh, all of pieces are in bad positions and white has everything what they can dream about. Okay, so let's see how Max A will realize his advantage. Okay, probably it was possible to try something even more sharp, like knight f3, if it takes f4 to play e5, maybe it was possible, but okay, in such a nice position it's uh, not easy, it's very easy to be lazy for calculate variation, so everything is fine, so f5, total control, and I can uh, I can understand Max Ave who doesn't want to calculate any complications, so bishop f7, white has domination on the board, bishop f1, rook fd8, king g2. King g2, I think it was idea to prepare a4. Immediately a4, queen b6, not possible. Check and black is preparing for knight takes b4 or queen takes b4. So king g2, knight b6. Now bishop c1, quite strong. Ah, bishop c1, uh, uh -huh. so I understand, uh, yes, 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 bishop c1, it's probably, uh, a4 probably, uh, Ava was planned, but after a4, queen d6 is very unpleasant, and d2 is hanging, and b4 is hanging. So, it looks like uh, probably what white played uh, during last moves was uh, not totally the best, uh, but um, how was possible to improve? The okay, maybe knight f3 was interesting if e takes instead of f5, but uh, in this position, so hard to believe that white cannot prevent plan uh, knight b6, knight a4. But surely... But not so easy, by the way. Black is plan is simple, rook d8, knight b6, and uh, the problem for white is that uh, they can never play it a4. Okay, probably king h2 was correct idea here. And my idea is simply to prepare a4. So this move I like. Okay, if knight b6, I will play a4. If rook d8, I play a4 as well to prevent plan knight b6, knight a4, and to prepare bishop a3. So I think this was correct way, and white is better. But uh, it was prophylactic move, which I like. So bishop f1, rook fd8, so knight b6, bishop c1, it looks like, hello, 
Mm, it looks like White lost his initiative somehow, but uh, anyway, they have two bishops and they have attacking chances in Queen's flank. So White wants to play mm, g5 in some moment probably and uh, for black it's still not so easy to organize contraplay because white has a big uh, space advantage in this position and all is protected if rook d4 knight f3 so knight a4 queen g3 White is preparing g5. Queen d6. Black wants queen d d4. Okay, uh, white played g5. Another very logical move was knight f3, of course, here. And he can play g5 in later. Black hardly can do something concrete here. So knight f3 was totally possible. But Ava decided to play g5 immediately, f take g5. King h8 was alternative. Okay, knight f3, h6. Black pawns under the attack. Knight takes e5. So white has uh, two bishops advantage. Uh, black knight uh, on a4 has a good position, but uh, another knight on a6 is passive, so white is better. Bogolyubov played b5. Probably bishop h5 was uh, the best idea to avoid knight takes f7 immediately and to prepare rook e8 in some moments. And main idea of black, ah, also control d1 square, so main idea ah, uh, of black that uh, to prepare knight c7, knight uh, b5 probably, queen b3 at the moment it's uh, not so strong I hope, uh, because uh, black can play king h7 if knight c4, queen d4. Heroim Slava, дякую. And at least uh, black is not losing. Okay, maybe anyway white is better. White has... White can play something like rook b1, for example, is an interesting idea. My idea is that now knight c7 doesn't work because queen b3 check and knight c4 and white is winning the piece. Okay, maybe, well, yes, it's peace. Because if queen d4, queen takes a4, if b5, queen a5 is coming. And... Okay, queen c3 also, black has some contraplay. Okay, at least white can play queen b3 now with healthy pawn up. Heroim Slava, tak, tak me kažem. Ok, so bishop h5 maybe was more stubborn, but uh, Bogolubov played b5, sorry. b5 was played uh, here. And Ava took on f7. After queen d4, uh, no, bishop e3, queen takes e4. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you mean, uh, ah, he, no, bishop e3, queen takes e4 check. So here bishop e4 doesn't work because check. Yes, but queen takes a4, okay, so b5 is only move and, uh, okay, queen a5, queen c3, I'm not totally sure about this. Because black also has some threats. But okay, queen b3 and bishop f7 maybe. Maybe black has also some chances to survive, but uh, 
Yes, maybe not so easy. Okay, just a moment. So, knight c1, queen b3, king h7, knight c4. Por que no bishop d3? In which moment? Bishop d3. Donde? I'll fill the tres. Uh, ah, I'll fill that dress. Mm. I'll fill that dress. As possible, a pair of black. Dama set dress. Por lo menos. Negro puede luchar in esta position. At least black can fight here. So, okay, maybe not so simple, but okay, we can check this more accurately. Probably white has something good here, but I don't know what exactly because queen f3 also is a threat in some moment. Ah, but uh, I can just take the knight. And uh, if queen takes e1, bishop b2 is real. Ah, and bishop b2 also, queen takes e4 check. And what? Okay, for example, we can check. So this, king g1, g7 is coming. So rook g8 is only move, and bishop d3 is coming. Looks like uh, very good for white. Oh, probably. Yes, uh, okay, probably uh, rook b1 was even stronger. Ah, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, but, but it was after bishop h5. So rook b1 is my proposition. But okay, Bogolubov played b5 and now Ava took on f7, it wasn't uh, totally necessary. White has uh, many other moves, uh, of course, but uh, Max Ava decided to go to endgame, simplify the position. Of course, bishop e3, for example, was totally good move as well. Okay, he took on f7. Endgame. Endgame is much better for white because bishop are stronger than knights. Yes, especially knight on e6 is terrible. Good afternoon. No, okay, uh, okay. I have analyzed many games from the past, and uh, okay, but uh, I continue to do it uh, now, so it's uh, it always useful to do. So c4, knight c7, h4. It's not attack, but uh, he is fighting for f4 square for, for for his bishop. So this is main point of uh, h4. Also, bishop e3 was totally possible. Anyway, white, white is better here. h4, mm -hmm. rook d4, bishop f4, knight e8. So it looks like thanks for subscription. Nice to see you. Bishop e5. I don't know why he didn't take immediately on b5. It looks like totally possible just to take a pawn. But he decided to play bishop e2. So rook d2. Takes, 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 knight b6. Rook c1. Okay, so white has pawn up and better position. It's totally enough for win. Two bishops, so rook c8. Already two pawns up, game is over. Mm 
96. No cell interesting. Okay, now material is equal, but white pawns are too strong. Of course, it wasn't the uh, only way to win, so white could uh, win by another way, probably. Okay. So bishop takes h6. Simple, uh, okay, also bishop takes h6. Uh, 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 not good, because rook h2 check, and after king g5, knight e5 is coming, and black has several threats. So bishop h6 is actually a bad move. And suddenly after knight e5, looks like uh, white is losing the piece because black has uh, two threats, knight f3 check or knight f7 check. Okay, think. Okay, we need serious. Just lower. Okay, so bishop h6 was uh, bad. Okay, so king g3 played uh, a rook a2, and he decided to give pawns. Rook c1, totally normal way to win after rook takes a3, king g4. Only one pawn up, but totally winning position. It's, it's probably even the most technical. What do you think of first move b6 after e4 or after b, uh, d4? Or after knight f3? Where b6? If e4, okay, if e4 b6, d4 bishop b7, bishop d3. White is better. I, I remember the trap. Okay, uh, so I I remember this. So bishop d3, if e6, knight f3, and then castle, white has very comfortable position. f5 here doesn't work because uh, white can just take, and if bishop takes g2, queen h5 check is possible. So g6, only move, white is taking. Bishop g7, only move because... Uh, if knight f6, white can just take and make this mate. So bishop g7 only move. But after bishop g7, white has nice idea, queen f5. It's not only way, of course. White has another good idea, but queen f5 is quite convincing line. And uh, now queen f7 mate is threat, so... Knight f6 is forced, and uh, after knight f6, uh, white has idea bishop h6 immediately. No, oh, or maybe just take f. Ah, no, 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 uh, bishop h6 immediately. Bishop h6. That's important. Bishop h6, and after bishop takes h6, g takes a7 with idea queen g6 check. And queen takes g2. And black cannot defend this position. For example, if takes queen g6, queen takes h6. Knight h3 and white has decisive attack. So f5 is bad move, so e6, but okay, knight f3 and it's very pleasant position for white. Black need, needs to play something like Uitelki, but okay, it's uh, obviously dubious. It's bad if. Uh, Somebody wants to play b6, it's better to play b6 here. Here b6 is a stronger version, because now after e4, bishop b7, bishop d3 here is possible as well. I played uh, against Vallejo, but okay, it's, uh, it gives uh, more chances to black, because after bishop d3, uh, for fight, uh, 
for the fighting uh, on the center, might need to play c3, bishop c2, d4, and future to lost uh, some time to, to prepare d4. But uh, anyway, it's possible I played this move against Valiejo. But uh, it, it, it's more playable for black. Knight c3, d4, and then bishop d3. Uh, where knight c3? Oh, I don't remember. He played something with d6. I played c3, e5, bishop c2, something like this was. But uh, I won quite a nice game, but uh, you can find in database. But uh, instead of bishop d3 uh, directly... Ah, knight c3 is possible, but now knight on c3. So black has uh, this... Uh, some kind of contraplay, although there is Kramnik system, and after knight f6, knight d2 is. And according to uh, the theory, white has good possibilities. But okay, b6 is playable, but uh, it's better to play after knight f3, b6. After e4 or d4 to play b6, it's more dangerous in my opinion. Okay, let's come back. So game was over. Uh, so Max Ava won game six. Sorry, it was not this. So, so where is this? Oh, okay, it was ready opening. So from knight f3. Ah, yes, so we were here, so material is equal, but uh, difficult to say. So to, to be longer world championship, okay, uh, he had a difficult uh, match in uh, 90s. Uh, came with new second, so uh, about second. So during the match in 1935 uh, uh, between Alyokhin and Ava, so second was Salo Landau, Dutch chess player. Second of Alyokhin, uh, I mean, but uh, for match revenge, Al Alyokhin invited another second. Uh, Austrian Grandmaster Erich Elis Casas. And it looks like he was quite a good prepared for much revenge. But okay, uh, probably in one day we will consider also much revenge between Ava and Aliochin. I didn't finish yet the uh, main match from 1935. But okay, so step by step I cannot do everything immediately just a moment so now it looks like just losing because um, black cannot stop uh, to pass the pawns and their pawns uh, a7 and h6 it's too far from the queens so knight b2 e6 elegant way of course uh, white has many other possibilities rook g1 it's totally enough for win but e6 elegant way it looks like oversight but it's not oversight it's f7 check if king f8 king f6 is coming of course and mate in next move about the king e7 king g6 so Bohulubov resigned and after game six uh, the score was three and a half against two and a half and uh, but uh, okay so we will see that uh, so how many games 10 games so 10 games they played finally uh, Yefim Bugulubov even won in this match so because of this I was uh, totally surprised uh, to hear uh, uh, comment of uh, Daniel Dubov about match uh, 
не помню, что against Carlson, that uh, after losing uh, in game six, uh, so game, uh, so match is uh, practically finished. So according to Dubo, не помню, she had no any chances anymore. But okay, so Bogolubov had uh, uh, same situation minus one. Uh, after game six and uh, less uh, game left, but uh, he managed to win. So I don't know why the situation was so pessimistic for for Nepomnishchi. Mm, okay. Okay, probably Nepomni she was uh, affected psychologically, maybe, maybe, but uh, probably if uh, Dubov uh, was visited this much and have seen their faces, uh, uh, can explain something more than me. Okay, it's possible because everybody are people and uh, and uh, for everybody uh, losers are very stressful but okay in this match uh, as we can see later Bugoy Lubov managed to win this and uh, interesting that same players uh, in same years in end of uh, this year 1928 played another match uh, also 10 games and uh, again Bugoy Lubov won plus one uh, they played also their third match in 1941. They played in Karlsbad. To, uh, to this, these matches they played in Holland, in different cities, mainly in Amsterdam, but uh, not only in Amsterdam. But uh, in 1941 they played uh, in uh, Karlsbad. Uh, now it's Karlove Vare in Czech Republic. It's... Uh, good uh, bus resort but in that time it was called Carlsbad so they were won in 1941 according to uh, the book about him the level of games in 1941 in this match was uh, weak but okay uh, I will see maybe not so weak okay probably one day I will show also this much okay so for today i think uh, more or less enough uh, so i wanted to show these two games and uh, okay i can stop my lesson only if somebody have uh, some wishes or, or some question i can answer and then i will go to sleep so i will wait a few minutes if there are any questions okay so good night uh, good morning good evening so see you next time bye